Mm. So we're working with Jeff Basker, who is like, I mean, beyond incredible. I don't know if you've been around that dude, but no. he is, I mean, that is as good as you can be mm -hmm. at, at music. And we had started working with him and uh, yeah, just everything kept throwing a, a wrench in the, the process. Oh, sure. You know, like Chris passing was pretty heavy for all of us. And then the pandemic happened. Oh, shit. Uh, I broke my jaw. How did you do? How did that how, happen? So, um, yeah, I guess it was a prior break. Just growing up in Alaska. You just had a broken jaw and just never know? Like I, I didn't know, man. I didn't know. But pressure built up over time. And just one day, yeah, I got this, like, we were up in Alaska. We were doing this AFN, uh, Alaskan Federation of Natives conference. And it just had this big pop. And my jaw was just like, I mean, it was just like massive pain. Fuck. And I went in and the doctor said like, like, okay, so you broke your jaw. When did you break your jaw? And, I, and I'm like, I don't know, like three days ago. And he says, no, there's like, there's a break from when you were younger. You broke it in high school. Oh, shit. And yeah, I had no idea. But over the years, I mean, singing every single yeah, day. Yeah, that's what I'm like. You didn't never like, <laughs> no pain or nothing. It just was broke and shit. No, that's what's that's what's fucking weird about it. I I have this this thing now because I I was in pain for such a long time. I can't really tell when it's hurting, but I'll get like migraines or like oh, yeah. like what would happen happen during the pandemic is like I would just split teeth. I, I like split a few teeth during the pandemic. What the fuck? Uh, just the pressure building up. But uh, we were heading towards this like super intense surgery like they take off your jaw and they remove these mandibles and they they put in titanium so like i, I did pt for like a year uh just trying to get this like my jaw stable so even that put a like put the album on hold for a minute dude i could i couldn't do anything oh shit but there was a point when i finally started being able to sing again where i just went back in and just kind of sang about everything that had been happening during this period oh shit but i mean there's a couple songs on the record too like summer of love and uh the the last track anxiety like these are two songs that i was like singing i mean i was just like, just, like singing through my teeth oh, trying shit. to get it out damn man so what's the um the song process like are you like going into like the production shit first or did you get like inspired and like write the songs first and didn't figure it out and a lot of post shit well, working with Ace, so like I work with Asa Tacconi mm -hmm. from Electric Guest. Uh, he is, he's just like one of those people who's really great at like, he just creates that space for you. Like he could be like vulnerable, talk about things that you probably wouldn't talk about in front of other people. I do it in song most of the time. I just put it in fucking songs. <laughs> yeah, I'm, me too, man. So I, I went in with Asa, we started writing songs. Uh, a lot of this stuff is just Basker. Like Jeff Basker is such an amazing musician mm -hmm. and producer. Um, we just go in and he's so funny, man. Like you would say things to him, like like I'm I'm thinking like maybe I'll do like this Willie Nelson type thing, mm -hmm. and you would sing something to Basker, and it's so annoying because he's so good. He he would say things like, "Yo, that's not Willie. This is <laughs> Willie." Like he would like sing something, and you'd be you know wildly impressed. Cause even like um um the the single y'all had put out dummy, like that shit that that I don't know it just give me like a like a Dilla vibes or some shit. It's not too far off of something that he would do. You know what I'm saying? Like cool. so I always like I always love when people could like genre bend in some sense. Like it give me like feelings of like oh shit. Cause I kind of like do the same thing. I can hear like a fucking I don't know a fucking jazz song or some shit and try to incorporate into my shit and, and, instead of just being influenced from rap. You know what I'm saying? I could take influence and get inspiration out of anything, man. So I would get kudos to y'all, man, for doing that shit, man, because y'all be killing that shit, dog. Yeah, I love how you do, man. Like That's really cool to hear. Oh, thank you, brother. And I was like, I was just telling you, man, I, I'm pretty sure like a lot of motherfuckers, FIFA. <laughs> like, y'all kill, kill every fucking FIFA fucking soundtrack, man. But shit, man.